Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workbench series where we do work on the bench. Today is get to know your gas valve day. We're going to be taking a look at this direct ignition gas valve here. It's called direct ignition because there's no pilot, there's an electronic igniter that lights the main burners directly. So we have two terminals on the top here and one electronic coil inside. If we wanted to test this coil, we would use the ohms function of the multimeter and I like to use the clips when I'm testing for ohms because my hands are a little shaky and if you move them around, the, the reading is going to keep jumping. So let me turn the light on for you. We got about 94, 95. So we're looking for a measurable resistance and this qualifies as a measurable resistance. So electronically, this valve is good. If we look at some of the features of this valve, we have the manual on off knob here and if we flip it over we can see the arrow here and the arrow which is kind of tough to see in this lighting but is right here pointing that way so this is the goes into and this is the comes out of the gas goes into here comes out of there if we look here at both ends we have what are called pressure taps where we can connect a manometer to check the gas pressure. If we were going to check the outlet gas pressure, we would take the pressure tap on the outlet side out. It's a 3 16 Allen wrench, and if you have your service wrench with the adapter, that happens to be the exact size, we could take the pressure tap out, and connect our digital manometer. You always want to keep track of that pressure tap. Don't lose it. Don't forget to put it back in when you're finished. In a future episode, we'll take a field trip to a furnace and check the gas pressure. And this would be testing the outlet pressure. When we're finished, we would put the pressure tap back in. Again, this is a direct ignition gas valve. In future editions, we'll look at intermittent ignition and standing pilot. They'll all have different features. When we're putting this tap back in, we don't need to over tighten it. Snug plus a corner uh, quarter turn. We don't need any pipe dope or anything like that. All right. This is a direct ignition gas valve. Here, under this cap, we have the pressure adjuster. If we take this cap off, underneath here is a plastic screw, which we can use to adjust the pressure. The regulator, if we look down in there, you can see the adjustment cap. If we screw it in or go clockwise, we will increase the pressure. And if we go counterclockwise, we will decrease the pressure. We should only do this with a manometer connected. When we're finished, put the cover back on and tighten it down. Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Workbench, and we'll see you on the next one.